Okay, having actually managed to get this thing powered up from the Arduino, I thought it was worth finding out about a device that I would be able to use on a more permanent basis, with batteries, from USB for other things. So I had a look on Farnell for a device that would be suitable, and this is what I found, the LD1117V33 device. Now I searched based on the voltage, based on kind of current handling, and I wanted this simple TO220 package because I wanted it to be breadboardable. So we have a look at first the product information. So dropout voltage 1.1 volts, that'll mean it'll happily work with a 6 volt power supply. Uh, input voltage maximum, well we're not going to go up to 15 volts, but we might mean 9 or 12 if we're working with lots of uh, motors, servo motors, other devices. This, this is what I'm really happy about. Okay, we take a look at the data sheet. So this data sheet actually describes a number of devices. So actually a whole series of voltage regulators, adjustable and fixed. We're only going to use this as a fixed voltage supply. So do we have an application note somewhere here for the fixed voltage? And here we go. So this is your simple application note not going to be at 1.2 volts, so we're going to be other fixed voltages. We want a couple of suppression capacitors. Well, we've got one this side. We haven't got one this side. I could for now assume that the USB power is going to be clean enough that I don't need this. So this is fairly nice and easy to use. Uh, it's inexpensive, so it's 36p each. Uh, 33 if I order a few, and I think I'm going to order a few, so I'm going to order about 10 of these and then we'll breadboard it up and see how it goes. Now looking at the pin diagram again, ground, V out, V in, it is actually looking like it's pin for pin compatible with the same device, oh no it's not, because I say the other device was V out, ground, V in, I believe. Now let me look at that breadboard, V out, ground, V in. No, so this is ground, V out, V in. So this is not pin compatible, but there'll only be a few minor changes. It's still a three pin di uh, device, still using the same kind of capacitance. So I think I'll order a bunch of these, breadboard them up, um, or breadboard one of them up, and see if I can power up my ESP8266 from it. And then we'll get started trying to get it to do a little bit more communications. Something a bit less temporary than the Arduino Uno here.